In this lecture, we'll see how to create hands with IK setup. In the existing rig that we have, we have made the IK setup for legs and FK setup for hands. Now, this is because legs always stay planted to the ground so that when we move the hip area, the legs would stay in the same place, which is good. But hands always is connected to the body. At the same time, it is not touching any object. So it needs to be connected or moving freely from the body. So that is why we have created this FK control so that we can control them uh, from parent towards the child. So what we will do is we will remove this uh, FK controls and we will create one IK setup so that we can save this file as a separate file and we can reference these files only in case where we have uh, some kind of interaction of the hand with an object. For example, let's create a small cube Let's say we want to create an animation of this character pushing this cube. Now we can place this character's hand right onto that object. That is not a problem. And we can also control the fingers in order to fit exactly in the same place. But the problem is when we rotate any of these controls, you can see that the position of the hand is also changing. But we want that position to stick onto this object in one place. So for this case we will have to use only IK controls. So for that purpose we're going to create the IK handles. Okay, so let's start by deleting these uh, two controls that we don't want. Now before deleting them we have to make sure that they are they're being brought outside this control or we can also bring this left hand outside. So let's bring this out. Now by bringing it out, I mean we have to bring it all the way outside this hip control it's because otherwise when we move the hip control, this hand control will also move because we want them, uh, we want the hand control to move separately outside the hip control. So let's just try to bring this totally out, out of the hip control. There it is. Good enough. Let's see if there's any transformations. No? Good enough. Okay. Now we can get rid of these two. Uh, left arm and left elbow control. So let me select both of them and press delete. Okay, good enough. So now we have this left control outside. Okay, now we can create the IK handle. So let's go to skeleton, IK handle tool, options. Let's make sure that it's RP solver. Close that out. So let's start the IK handle from here till here. So there we have the IK handle. Okay, good. Now, if you remember, we still have the constraint here to control the hand. Okay, so let that constraint be there. Now, all we have to do is make this pole vector to be a child of this left hand. Oh, sorry, not pole vector, the IK handle. Select the IK handle, shift select the hand control and press P. So now let's check it out. Let's rotate. Okay, there are some little problems. Some twisting ho going on. I think we can fix that by creating a pole vector. Okay. Good. And let's check uh, if the hand is staying in the same place when we move the hip. Yes. So this is exactly what we want. When we want to put the hand on or attached to an object. So let's go ahead and create the pole vector. Pole vector we can create with the help of locator. Let's create a locator, pull it up, move it to the side, push it back. Okay, so once we got it, let's give a name. This is uh, pole vector VEC left hand. Let's freeze the transformation, delete the history. Okay, so now select the pole vector, shift select the IK handle, and go to constraint and choose pole vector constraint. So let's try, let's keep it there. Let's try to rotate this and see. Yeah. So the twist that was there is gone now. Okay, so now we can 
change the position of the hand make it grab onto object if you want you can also rotate okay you can also control these uh, fingers if you want to bend the fingers for the fingers it is always better to create some uh, attributes here and for the hand control and create set driven keys to move each of these fingers okay so now you can see that when I move the entire body the hand stays in the same place and we can also control the loca uh, the pull vector in order to create different kinds of twists so this concludes creating IK handle for hand controls